Oi, seja bem-vindo aqui a mais um episódio dos nossos diálogos. Dessa vez filmado num lugar um pouco diferente, outdoors, fora do, do estúdio na Vila Madalena, em São Paulo, por uma razão muito especial. A convite da, da Red Bull, eu fui à África do Sul para mentorar jovens inovadores sociais e acabei conhecendo uma pessoa incrível, que é o Andy Walsh, que é diretor de desenvolvimento humano de alta performance da Red Bull, principalmente para os atletas que hoje exigem um nível de performance muito além da, da média de todos nós. O Andy é especialista nessa história de desenvolvimento, não só físico, mas mental e até espiritual, e ajudando gente a se superar, se superar, é, chegando em performances super altas. Né? O Andy foi, ficou mais conhecido recentemente por um projeto que ele liderou chamado uh, Stratus, que foi uh, o lançamento de uma pessoa, o Alex Baumgartner, à estratosfera e depois ele saltou da estratosfera e muitos de nós ficou sabendo desse projeto, ficou um projeto muito audacioso e o Andy foi o cara que liderou esse projeto e ajudou na preparação do Alex para que isso pudesse acontecer de forma incrível. E eu estava muito curioso em, em bater um papo com o Andy e isso foi possível durante esses dias que eu fiquei na África do Sul e eu quis trazer um pequeno pedaço disso, algumas perguntas importantes que eu fiz para ele, eu quis trazer para vocês e é isso que está sintetizado nesse episódio dos diálogos. the human performance just means when we look at an individual we want to bring together all those parts that make them human so even for an athlete we don't just focus on the physical dimensions and getting them faster bigger stronger it's about understanding a lot about the individual as a person first and then can we do things to support them across all the dimensions that make them up and, uh, and make them who they are So it, it sort of adds, when you talk of human performance, it just adds a, a greater construct around the sort of holistic approach to supporting them and making sure they have everything they need to become as great as they can be. My start in human performance was basically as a coach, as a, as a high school coach. I was trained as a human movement degree And uh, I'd always loved sport as a kid. I was always into sport. In Australia, that's easy, because you know, everyone in Australia is pretty much you engaged. From, yeah, I'm from Australia. And uh, it was this idea of just, you know, I wasn't good enough to actually compete in sport at the high level, but I loved coaching. So I trained as a coach, and then that sort of just led into having to understand the body and physically, especially for athletes, and then also the psychology of performance, nutrition, and all those classical areas of sort of getting someone better but then as we sort of developed the programs over the years we realized that we had to make sure that their life was in order their, their, their ability to take care of themselves outside of the field uh, especially the playing field uh, spirituality 
and creativity. We started working with artists and musicians and designers and then entrepreneurs and social entrepreneurs. So we realized that the human performance really meant you had a lot to offer anybody who would walk in uh, and at least gave a, a broader dimension to just say, hey, come and get fitter and stronger with us. I think obviously always enjoyed some of the physical perspective of it all, but nowadays for me, I'm really fascinated by uh, the creative aspect of performance. How do we enhance sort of creativity or how do we support innovation? How do we help problem solving? So can we understand this in such a way that it can benefit everybody? Not just a classic creative like a musician or an artist, but how do we help the scientists come up with new ideas to solve problems or cure tough disease? Um, I also really enjoy the, the overarching conversations we're starting to develop in the spiritual space. This sense of helping individuals get a better framework around the picture of who they are. And in many cases, it seems to elaborate out naturally to this idea that they're part of something bigger than themselves, uh, which I think is the basis of most of the spiritual or religious frameworks that are out there. Uh, really fascinating in that space for us to try and distill all the different religions and get past the rhetoric and start to just identify what it is about what these ancient uh, um, religions or ancient followings or spiritual practices, what is it about them that are so powerful? Why have they remained a tool to help people get through tough times? And, become better performers. So that to me is really a fascinating uh, journey we're on right now. We're with, uh, I think, I think it, you know, if you ask any parent, the change is dramatic. Uh, it was surprising. Uh, you realize you're just completely unprepared. Uh, <laughs> um, what's changed? I think you, it forces you in the best of ways to look at yourself a bit harder. Um, practice, patience, these things that you know you've got to really take time for. And also think you start to think about the world differently from a bigger perspective. The idea of what's, what are you leaving for them on a, on a global scale, but also how do you prepare them or give them tools so that you try to help them be maybe a little bit head start of where you were, that's how I think about it. Gosh, I made all these mistakes and maybe you can share with them things to, not that they're not gonna make any mistakes, but maybe avoid the ones you made. So that's all part of it. So that's changed a lot. And I think you just realize that uh, there's a bigger purpose to them, just what you're here, for your own self and why you're maybe when you're a teenager, that focus on just, you know, all those things. So at Red Bull, my role is the sort of high performance director, which means literally just when we support athletes, artists, social entrepreneurs in this case, how do we put a framework around them that gives them every opportunity to succeed? So in some cases, we do provide some training or coaching. In many cases, we just connect the dots between them and um, other communities of people who've maybe done it before or in the past so the experts in all these fields maybe there's something we've learned or understand that we can offer and and, and at the same time learn what are we learning from these extraordinary performers i mean these people even the, the younger ones we have in the program they all are extraordinary in their own way and they even may not be technically at the top of their game yet they've, they've overcome a lot they are disciplined they've resilient, their, you know, their ethic and practice of work is high. There's so many things to learn from and so most of the time it's a two-way street. We listen and learn and then sometimes, just like with your kids, you may have seen someone else face that similar problem before and you literally go, ah, this crew over here got around that problem this way, why don't you talk to them? And that's, that's what we've spent a lot of time doing. And I think for me, the Amapigo event, it's a highlight, first and foremost. It's a, 
on many levels. I think the values of what the program stands for are aligned with me personally. But more importantly, I think they sort of say, Andy, can you come here and help and support? And they obviously share what I've seen, but more importantly, learn and listen from this community. You know, you'll talk to any elite performer, be it a CEO, an athlete, someone in the military, they'll talk about perseverance, toughness, resilience is the common language. I mean, what we can learn from these groups and what they've had to go through to actually get to this point, what they've overcome, the challenges they face, that, that they're, they're a walking embodiment of those words. And it's fascinating how much we can take from this community and actually give back to some of the best talent in the other disciplines we have. And it's, I don't say it lightly, you know, literally there'll be medals won, records broken, businesses built in, the, in our communities based on some of the lessons here that, uh, that are shared from this group. So that's the best part about it. They give and then we respond in kind and hopefully everyone gets better as a consequence. I'm really excited to see how that, the program, the Social Entrepreneur Program at Emma Pico uh, unfolds there because uh, it's going to be very different. So different means great, it's going to be new and we're going to learn a lot. Um, and, uh, but just the people, the warmth of the people and the fun and, you know, and, uh, a, couple, a couple of kite perinias maybe, you know, to make it a, big, maybe a good night, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Overall, a lot of times when we talk about elite performers or top performers, there's this mystique. What we like to and believe in is the idea that, you know, first and foremost, everybody's pretty much all the way there. It's a, it's a little bit of, you know, sometimes clearing out the brush or clearing away the, 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 the sort of obstacles. But, and even in that case, it's not a big step. It's not this far-reaching target that you know you aim for. I think as, as a younger person or as a person who wants to sort of see how much more they've got, it's you know, first and foremost knowing that you've probably got it already and just don't beat yourself up. Um, you know, think about, you know, all the extraordinary things that you're able to already do and, 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 and why, you know, uh, why, what, what is it that, that potentially you're saying to yourself that's holding you back? Because most of the time it's just you know, rephrasing that conversation as an opportunity that really is the biggest step to take. And then once you realize it's all there, it's not far to go. It's not this magical thing that is very, for the very lucky, it sits there. We just, again, take a little bit of time to clear out the, clear ourselves out. Usually get out of our own way mostly. That's what it's all about. Ah, thank you so much, man. Perfect.